I don't remember the goblin backstory being that sad. I actually started tearing up for a second. I'm like, hold up. This is ridiculous. The direwolves, right? Ranga is what we're going to get, right? The guy that says Waga Aruji. I can't believe the direwolves did that shit to the goblins. We just ignore that shit and just move on, huh? Doesn't matter. It's fine. Now, I think we're about to get the direwolves versus the goblin conflict. And Rimuru is going to save them. Let's begin today's reaction. Battle at the goblin village. Let's go. Hello. None of them can. You gotta fight for them. Just a bunch of children here. Yes. Wolves will eat us. Dude, they're just children too. This is fucked. Rimuru-sama! <laughs> Look at him blush in the slime form, too. Oh, right, because he has a bunch of potions from the cave. They're like really highly refined potions, too, right? The potion from inside. He just spits him out? <laughs> so he just fucking eats the goblin, spits him out, and they get healed up. Yeah. Just a little sus how you just swallow them and eat them out, but... Literally just cleaning out his ass. And so sus that they all get spat out like this too with their fucking gas sticking out. Come on now. Five of them in a row? Why? Why are they all sitting like that? Ooh. The dire wolves. They could already talk. Okay. I'm not gonna howl too. Oh shit, they're attacking. Yo, I hope we got the wall built up. <laughs> there appears to be a slime. <laughs> Probably doesn't sound intimidating at all, huh? Like, the, the dire wolves probably think, what the fuck is a slime doing? You think you can threaten us? Yeah. A little do you know. Oh? Oh, whoa. Oh, it's just arrow. <laughs> I want you to pay attention to the, the senior here, the elder that just shot the arrow. Watch this. Watch him right here. Watch him tug the string. Watch. Bro, just, it landed on the ground. I know he's a fucking elder. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Oh, John Smith? Steel thread? John Smith is here too? Oh, he's moving. All right, okay. Now what? Oh. Usually this is like reserved for the waifus, but okay, we got the father, the, the great direwolf here. Ranga's dad. Sticky thread. Definitely for the girls. Is he about to kill Ranga's And then Ranga just serves him? Even if he killed his dad? I don't remember the- what? This is fucked up! I mean, technically, the dire wolves fucked up the goblins too. Remember the sad backstory? Remember their eldest, like, son died? Remember that shit? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's fucked up! I, I know they were trying to kill the goblins too! <laughs> oh. You straight up beheaded him. <gasps> if the leader of the pack's done, you gotta just get the fuck out. Team Morale is crushed! <laughs> okay, how are you gonna convince them? Get out of here. Ooh. Submit or die, he says. But he did kill the leader in front of him. So killing the beheading the fucking dad's not enough, right? You're gonna then fucking just get you're just gonna swallow him too? Scare them even more? 
What skill do we take? Mimic Direwolf. Smell, thought communication, menace. Yes. Oh. Impossible, Dad? You gotta say it in a more like a little pitch oh. It's even terrifying our goblins. Ah, oh. Waga Arji time, and I give him head pats. They're so cute. Look at these darwins. They're like little dogs now. No, they submit to the new leader. We? I. Okay. We're friends now. Nothing beats peace, he says, as he fucking beheads the fucking pack leaders, like the dad of Ranga, and then fucking swallows him afterwards. Yep, nothing beats peace. And now they just become all friends, right? The direwolf and the goblins now coexist. But what? Hmm? See? They're all just pets now. You, you're gonna look after them. Right, I think we're about to do the naming. The naming part. Yes, sir. <laughs> names, names. Right, we're gonna build like bigger houses, better infrastructure. And then this is gonna be our home base. Naming time. They're just goblin number one. They don't got one. So how the fuck do they communicate amongst themselves if they don't have names? How do they like refer to each other? Just our thoughts? Okay. Interesting. Because they even already, like the goblins and the direwolves, they all already recognize the importance of giving a name, right? Because like if you give a name, just like how Veldora did to us, it kind of like enhances you, right? So Rimuru doesn't really understand, but he's like, sure, I'll just fucking name all of you. <laughs> I've never seen Grim for this fucking excited. Oh, I know why he's this excited because I don't all these kid goblins that once they get a name, they just like become like giga chats. All of them, they just like grow like 10 foot, right? He's so happy. <laughs> Look at the tail lag, dude. Elder, come on. Diguru. Very good to do. Is that a D after? <laughs> do they immediately transform? Or not yet? <laughs> Bro didn't even put much thought into it. Bro is fucking crying because, oh my god, I just got a date. But he's like, oh yeah, what was your son's name again? Rigger? Okay, eh, maybe we just had a D after. Alright, next name. And this guy just gets his fucking brother's name. So fucking lazy. And they're like, yes! <laughs> It's your son, you can give- whatever. Alright. Gopta right there, I see Gopta right in front of the line right there. Yeah! The legend of the strongest goblin begins now, baby. This is Re- Do you think this is fucking Rimuru show? No, no, no. Rimuru's a side character, okay? This is the story of Gopta. I remember Gobzo though. This guy I do remember. Gobzo is very familiar. <laughs> wow, she actually got a fucking name. Everyone else is like Gopta, Gobtu, Gobte, Haruna. <laughs> Direwolves. Ranga, hey you! I killed your dad! I'm gonna name you now. They're all very happy though. Ranga Tempest Ranga or some shit? Yeah. That's kind of fucked up. That he didn't give Tempest names to any of the goblins, but the wolves are fine. Okay. Well, just Ranga, right? Okay. Oh, Ranga! Yes! 
Boom, Storm Fang. That tail wag, dude. Hmm? Too much use of mana. Now he's gonna pass out. Internal magical reserve. So we used all of Veldora's here? Three days. Alright, but that's the birth of Ranga now. Three days later. The fuck is this a funeral? Is this a funeral? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why does it look like a fucking funeral already? <laughs> Mommy, they're still like wiping him down. Yeah. Yeah, all the monsters know about the significance of names. Hmm? Alright. Time skip, three days, and everybody's Giga Chads now. Let's see them. Haruna, I don't remember you being this stacked. Haruna, is that you? Yo, these goblins kind of grew too fast. Isn't he like super jacked now? He goes from like a feeble senile guy to like a fucking Giga Chat, right? Their voice changes too. This is the thing here! At least thank god that he's not fucking just like brittling in his cane anymore. But yeah, they all just become bodybuilders. Hello. <laughs> he's back to his prime. Mm. Raises one's rank. And evolves. What the f- Ah, Ranga! Yeah, like this. And the tail starts wagging. Yeah, and he got a horn. You can't compare Ranga and Delta. They're too different. One's an actual dog. The other's just dumb. Only Ranga got the name, though. Every other direwolf is still normal? Gopta. Why did Gopta never change? I'm just trying to realize. If the girl switched up. It's, it's not... Why did Gopta never change? Is it because Gopta's potential was always there? Is that his potential is so unsurmountable that giving a name did not really affect his body? Is the author memeing with this? Or is there a deeper reason as to why Gopta did not change? Why? Why? Everyone else, because I like a fucking 10 year time skip, Gopta's still the same. Huh. They're hobgoblins now. What the fuck is a goblina? <laughs> goblina is a female goblin? <laughs> this is the first time I'm hearing about it from an isekai. They all indirectly kind of like get the powers too because have a shared name. They're storm wolves! It's Tempest Wolves. Tempest does sound cooler than Storm. His tail always causes a tornado. Go get him! See? The cute dog-like features whenever he starts wagging his tail. Okay. That was a joke? Okay. Alright, he took the mustache off. Pacifist, right? No hurting humans. No infighting. And don't be racist. <laughs> Rigona just wants to kill them, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't have malice, but the fact that he asked it is kind of funny to me. Okay. Gopta, why can't we be racist? <laughs> Gopta, the race, <laughs> goblin supremacy. <laughs> yeah, don't bully other people. Not everyone is strong as you, Gopta. 
いつか相手が強くなって仕返しされてもつまらないだろう。Yeah. <laughs> He's straight up the only goblin that didn't evolve? Lord, wow. Damn! Lord of the goblins. I love how different his voice actor changed from the feeble senile man to fucking Ronnie Coleman. That's sus. Very sus. Sus looking fruits. Aw, look how much Ranga wants to cuddle. Right. For the houses to get better, I think we. Don't the dwarves get involved in a certain place? Because they're like master, like, um, like a craftsmanship, right? I think so. Because we just have fucking basic huts and shit. That's not safe at all. We just wear fucking loincloths. Then goblinas, man. Then goblinas, man. Hey, relax, relax. Stop jiggling. Stop jiggling. We need some talented, like, uh, blue collar workers. Dwarves. Yeah, that's Haruna still, right? They've been giving a lot of attention to Haruna. Dwarf. Yeah. And the king is really cool from what I remember. He's like a deep voice actor. Okay. He, I forgot. Every time he says something, he always says bodybuilding poses, which is the funniest shit. And the shine on his teeth, dude. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I just realized. What the fuck is that sound? It's Gopta on the slide. He can't even ride it perfectly. Look. Why did Gopta not evolve? Doesn't he get more excited about something else other than the dwarves, right? I think the elves, don't they run some kind of fucking bar, right? All right, that's the episode. Today's episode was a little bit chill. Well, actually, the first half was kind of crazy. We just fucking kill Ranga's dad in front of him, fucking cut his head off, eat him alive, and suddenly Ranga just wagging his tail. You know why? Because they just submit to whoever's strongest. We named them, causes a lot of magic kills. I think um, Veldora's magic that's stored within Rimuru basically have been used, right? So then they all become stronger. They all become bigger. But Gopta stays the same size. Why is this? Does this mean that Gopta doesn't need to evolve? Is he are Like, I don't know if, they, if the author is just memeing, but we, uh, from what I remember, Remember, from the last time I watched this show, Gopta does some fucking crazy legendary feats, right? He flexes hard. Now we're off to the Dwarven Kingdom to get more like craftsmanship because we just got fucking mud huts. We can't have that. So I think we go there, talk to the king. I think we post some people and I think that's about it. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.